Yeah. Girl, you looking better than the photos. Hey guys, hey, good morning. It's a Tuesday here in New York. I have some errands to run today. I have an appointment on the Upper East Side, so I'm gonna head there. And I thought I would take you guys along with me. Um, it's a mess back here in my kitchen because you know I hurried to make breakfast and everything today for the kiddo. And yeah, I am just gonna leave that like that because I gotta get to my appointment. So hopefully um, I will get into some stuff and take you guys along because I haven't been um, on the Upper East Side in a little bit. So let's see what I get into, all right? Um, let me show you what I'm wearing too. Okay guys, so I'm rocking this tan dress from Amazon alongside my Tory Burch Miller sandals. I forget what this purse is called, but it comes in handy because it's small, but it still fits a lot. So I might throw a white loose shirt over this. I have it to carry with me, but yeah, this is the look today. I have on shapewear for after I eat. <laughs> and then yeah, this is the shirt to tie around my waist too if I feel like, you know, I get a little bloated from eating, but I'm not gonna let anything stop me from wearing things that I wanna wear, okay? It's body positivity and love over here. I look good, I look good. Oh, and I got my new um, custom unit from um, So Natural. I'll talk to you guys more about this maybe later or in another vlog, I don't know, but yeah. And then I'm rocking these hoops, which um, I will link to is from a black owned designer that's been on the Side Hustle Pro Show. I don't think these are available anymore, but I'll link to her site. She has obviously um, other great things available. So yeah, this is the overall look for the day. Disregard the stroller. <laughs> and that's that. Hey guys, hey, welcome. It's a little later in the day, later in the evening now. I'm back home. I picked up baby from school and yeah, I'm just chilling on winding after, you know, a very hot <laughs> day walking around the Upper East Side. So today was my very first spend the day with me in NYC video. Let me know if you like this. It's gonna be a new um, a new type of video, that I, video series that I'll do on the channel. And we're gonna be hitting up other boroughs. Let me know what you wanna see me hit next. You know, we're gonna be going to the Bronx, Brooklyn, anywhere, any borough that you want me to hit up. Well, I can't say any, cause we, we we know your girl's not going to anything with an island in it. However, <laughs> I do love exploring the city. Um, I was away from New York for over 
10 years, a little over 10 years living in the DMV. And now that I'm back, I am eager to see and explore new places because a lot has changed. New restaurants, new buildings, new attractions, new stores, new everything, okay? So I feel like I'm relearning New York and I'm out there trying not to look like a tourist because I'm like, I'm a New Yorker baby. But at the same time, you know, I want to capture this content for you guys. Let me show you really quickly what I got. What I do with Sephora and Target and stores like that, I actually keep a note in my phone that reminds me things that I want to re-up on when I'm by that store so that I don't get carried away. But there are just certain things that I like so much that I um, continue to buy from Sephora. So, and there's a few th new things that I picked up. So first and foremost, um, this way scalp and body scrub is the truth. It's in the scent Melrose Place. I love how this smells. Um, if, let me see if I can describe it. Um, it just smells like um, a resort vacation, you know? Like you just got off the beach, you put on your favorite perfume, and you are just luxuriating. That's what it reminds me of. I don't use this every day. This is something, you know, that you use when you really wanna have like a spa, unwind reset night so you can just give yourself that home pampering i love that for that i also picked up the donna karen deodorant stick i like to wear this at night when i go to bed so you know i just want to smell good and so i am the type of person who oh now it says it's an antiperspirant i thought this was just a deodorant but even if it is an antiperspirant it does not protect me that much when i try to wear it in the daytime so i'm surprised i did not know this was an antiperspirant because when i try to wear this during the daytime i swear this is not strong enough for me but i do like it as again just smell good at nighttime um i re-upped on my fenty pro filter soft matte longwear foundation i'm in shade 420. i also got oh i haven't had a gloss bomb in a little bit i use mine down to the core to the very 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 core nowadays um rihanna has so many different colors of these I am still a fan of the original, this, what is this, Fenty Glow 01, that's still my favorite color. And yeah, I haven't had that in a while and I like having a gloss. Then I got this Miss Dior Roller Pearl. I don't know if y'all can see this, but this is the Oh de Toilette. I'm sorry, I'm not French, I don't speak French. However, this Miss Dior is my favorite scent at the moment. And I saw that they had this, they had this at the checkout. This is in the checkout section of Sephora. So this is good, again, at nighttime when you just wanna do a little dab and feel very, very, como se dice, how do you say? Oh, it's luxurious and also, you know, I put on my satin pajamas and I just feel like I'm going to bed smelling good and sexy. Then um, I've been seeing this around the YouTube streets. I'm, I'm gonna have to film these by themselves, okay? So this is the Rosewater Glow Mist by Touchland. This is a hand sanitizer that is very easy to fit in your purse. I love that. And um, it's, you know, 70% alcohol. So I'm gonna try this out um, to see if it fits easier in my purse. And so uh, all of those, uh, well, mainly the Way and the Fenty were on the re-up list. Um, and then, you know, the deodorant, the perfume, and then these from Pattern Beauty were not, but I have had them on the Target list. So Pattern, this mask is usually out of stock, and I've been wanting to try that. I will say, um, shout out to my girl Tracy Ellis Ross. I love the design of these products. I love how beautiful they are. I actually keep the black and white ones in um, my son Kingston's bathroom as really like decor <laughs> because I have a black and white theme going in there. I will say some of them are a little heavy, like they feel like they leave residue behind, like they feel like they leave products behind I guess because of the shea butter. I don't know, not shea butter, but just, just the butters. But I... I think they're good for when you just really need a moisturizing, like your hair is really dried out and you want like uh, to just really saturate it. So that's why I'm gonna try the mask. This is, um, yeah, this is a mask. And then I got this leave-in conditioner uh, because since I'm gonna be wearing my custom unit more, I'm gonna be focusing on really, really growing back my hair, especially the hair around my edges and bringing it back from postpartum shedding life. I am gonna double up on leave-in conditioner, I think. So I really love the Kinky Curly leave-in conditioner, and I'm gonna be trying this layered over it as well. And then this 
pick I really like. I always like, you know, spray um, water to rejuvenate and then kind of pick out my um, son Kingston's hair. So I'll be using this for him and also for me. So this was definitely, you know, a purchase that I love. Like it's aesthetically pleasing, but it's also going to be very functional. You know, I try to mix the two all the time. So that's my Sephora haul. That was my day in New York City. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe before you leave. Share it with a friend. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember to let me know where else you want to see me go in New York in the comments. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.